yo, yo, what's crack a -lack it? Welcome, welcome back. I'm excited. It's a nice day out. The breeze is nice. Not too hot, not too cold. It's just lovely. Marvelous, simply marvelous, darling. Well, I'm going to do a job today. It's a one-story commercial building I do every three months. But I wasn't too sure because it's been a while. And um, he canceled the last service due to COVID. And he pushed it back a month. So today is that month. And today's the date. It seems to me that this place only likes doing it on Wednesdays. Every time he schedules it, it's always on a Wednesday. And he always pays cash. So I like that. I don't know, maybe he gets cash on Wednesdays. Maybe that's why he schedules it on Wednesdays. I don't know. But the building takes me literally a half an hour if I'm got a good pace going. And I make a hundred dollars. Just the outside. It's one story. It's cake work, but it's reflective glass. A lot of it's damaged and badly stained. And uh, I actually used Barkeeper's Friend, and I scrubbed the heck out of it. And guess what? Didn't work, baby. I really don't think anything would work on it. I just think it's too far etched in the glass. It's permanently burned in, etched in. And um, I even have the windsaw uh, acid, and I tried that. It didn't work either, so uh, that stuff won't work on everything. I rarely ever use it because I never come across any windows that I really need to go the acid way because usually Barkeeper's Friend and some elbow scrubbing with the steel wool usually does the trick. Uh, particularly on homes. Uh, commercial is a different story. But let's get back to this building. So I'm going to take y'all along for the ride and uh, feel free to, to stay for the next part of this video. This video is going to be long, but then again, most of my videos are. I mean, sometimes I just got that much to say, and it can't be done quickly. Yeah, I may ramble on a little bit, but that's only because I'm very descriptive. So when you get descriptive and you break it down in layman's terms, you, you, you rule out that keep it short and sweet. But you want everyone to hope they understand where you're coming from. Because some people just don't know. You know what I mean? They just... They just can't grasp the concept of what I've been saying. Well, maybe one day y'all will get the picture. You would have, it's like one of those things you have to see it to believe it, I guess. Who knows? But uh, anyways, uh, I'll try to keep it short. A lot of my stuff short now. Even my, uh, that's why I have two videos. When I make a long one, I also make an MAW short of that. It's pretty much a uh, Broke breakdown of the long video without all the talking. It's just more or less showing you what I've done on that job and the tools that I've used and how well they work and how much money and time you could save. But I'll see you when we get there. All right, we are here. See, there's one side of it. There's windows around back. And then you have these. Uh, the same amount on the other side, the one outside I just showed you, it doesn't have as many windows. It has about three. Actually, four, five windows, actually. So the back has just the same amount exact on the front as it is in the back. It takes me a half an hour. I didn't count up how many windows, but you can count along as I go. Uh, if I can show all the footage, I'm not going to make a half an hour video. Keep that in mind. I mean, come on. Who's going to sit there and watch a half an hour of window cleaning? <laughs> I mean, although I have uploaded long like that before, 
but uh, it's only but so many window cleaning videos one could watch, right? All right, but uh, hey, repetition is key. This is what you gotta focus on. The more you see somebody that cleans windows better than you, is the more times that you can actually learn a different style or different way of doing things. That's all it's all about, you know? Because it works for that person, may not work for you, but you might be able to see something in that video that you can pick up. Maybe a move that you could work on, you know? I, I'm just unconventional in that way, so not many people can do what I do anyways. But, uh, all right, let's jump into it. All right, so today I'm going to be using Bertha on here. Now, some of you have not seen Bertha in a while. Some of you might not even know I call it Bertha. I just just gave it that name today. It just suits it because Bertha is big. Anyone with the name Bertha eh, is usually a big woman or Gertrude. Well, those are old names, but uh, Bertha just seems a little more appropriate because of this bad boy. Now, I'm going to be taking Black Diamond Ruby Red out of here, and I'll be putting... Uh, some of you probably use this rubber already. It's the Unger... It's the Unger Ergotech. 36 inch is soft now the reason why I'm using that rubber and not the ruby red on here is for one thing uh, I use that rubber in my smaller channels I noticed that the rubber I've mentioned this before if you've been following me I've mentioned that the rubber is not that great in longer channels because it doesn't get the corners well uh, in this particular window the only rubber that gets the corners better is a soft rubber. So, uh, Ettore Soft or Unger Soft, even though my channel's dog eared. Now, the bigger the channel, the less it's going to get the corners, unless it's dog eared. Even with it dog eared, I gotta, my technique has to be flawless. To get the corners right but uh <clears throat> all right let me jump into it let's take a look at bertha